If you've never made a Dutch baby before, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's halfway between a pancake and a crepe, and there's something catastrophically satisfying about seeing it puff up in the oven and then slowly deflate as it cools into a bowl ready to be filled with fruits or jams or even savory fillings such as eggs. Today, being a quiet quarantine morning, I'm gonna ditch the fruits and do my take on a dark chocolate s'more. Start by preheating your oven to 220 degrees or as high as it will go. Into a bowl with two eggs, preferably organic, and make sure that they as well as all your other ingredients are at room temperature. In with your eggs and then your aromatics. I'm going to use some freshly grated nutmeg. The seeds from half a vanilla pod. I suppose you could use vanilla extract, but there is something absolutely intoxicating about the muskiness of a pod that I cannot forego. Don't forget the salt and then a quick whisk to bring everything together. Mix in the flour until smooth, but don't worry about some small lumps that may remain. In an oven safe pan, melt a generous knob of butter, half of which gets whisked into your batter. Stream the finished batter back into the pan and gently transfer to the preheated oven. In the oven, the pancakes will take 20 minutes as your kitchen gets increasingly saturated in the custody aromas of vanilla and nutmeg. I find this a perfect time to get started on the dark chocolate ganache. For my adult take on a dark chocolate s'more, I'm going to use Ether's Oak Smoked Madagascar Dark Chocolate, but I suppose you could chop up any chocolate that you have laying about and into a saucepan of barely simmering milk it goes. Allow the chocolate to melt into the warmth of the milk as the Dutch baby crows and puffs into a beautiful golden brown. I now finish up my chocolate with a splash of bourbon and a small pat of butter for a beautifully glossy and unctuous ganache. Delicately pour your chocolate over the warm Dutch babies and top with a handsome picking of beautiful marshmallows. I happen to have a torch handy, but you can use the grill or broil settings on your oven to gently toast the tops of your marshmallows and release the beautiful mallowiness of their namesake. Serve this onto a family table, encouraging people to break into it with a serving spoon. Or better still, dip cookies into the slightly burnished skin of the marshmallows. There really is nothing better, with the exception perhaps of having a pancake all to yourself. Mm -hmm.